Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Now today we are going to be doing my Premier League predictions. It's that type of year again. You know, you know what I mean. Time of year again and I'm going to do 20 to 1 Premier League predictions, give you my thoughts and I'm going to get about 12 views and it's not going to be worth it. But here we go, and we've got some controversial takes in here, so, you know, have a go at me in the comments if you disagree. Alright, so starting at 20th, I think everyone's going to predict them to finish bottom. It is Sheffield United. Sheffield have just lost their superstar, Iliman Indiai, or however you say that. And I really don't know anyone else in their squad, so... Um, apart from Lundstrom, he was an FPL legend. Um, yes, yeah, so 20th, they're going to finish 20th. And, yeah, 20th for Sheffield. And they haven't replaced him as well, so, funny. Uh, 19th, we've got a controversial take here. Dun, dun, dun. We've got Everton at 19th. And, yeah, they've got a really shit squad, haven't they? <laughs> um, they really haven't improved on it. I think they've signed Dan Juma. He's decent, but is he going to add a lot? I don't know. I, I don't think they're great. They've lost Connor Cody. I've forgotten if they've brought anyone else in. Really should have done her research. Um, but... They've always been lingering around that. I think it's time they go down, isn't it? Let's be honest. Who likes Everton, really? Um, and 18th, we've got another controversial take. We've got Wolves getting relegated. Um, yeah, again, haven't signed anyone, really. Um, they've lost Nathan Collins, who was a good, promising centre-back, and he's moved to his... 20th club in about two years. Um, they've lost Ruben Neves. I can't think who they who they have signed. I know they've got Mateus Cunha on a permanent. He really didn't hit it off in the Prem, did he? Um, so they've and they've lost Raúl Jiménez as well. They've literally got no attacking talent really. Uh, shame. Pedro Neto went to shit. Um, yeah, I think they're finishing 18th, just above Everton, because they've got a decent manager as well. And I think Sean Dyche is a good manager as well, I just think they're going to get relegated. Um, so that means 17th, we have Luton Town surviving by the skin of their teeth. Literally, I bet it's going to be by goal difference. And, um, yeah, they haven't really done... They've done a bit, they haven't overspent, you could say that's a good thing, but yeah, I think they've just got a few better players than Everton and Wolves and Sheffield, and uh, their home stadium's going to be rocking, I really want to go there for an away day, please let me go there. Um, yeah, uh, no, um, they've got a really good atmosphere at their home stadium, I think that'll keep them up. Bet there are going to be a few big one nils at Kenilworth Road. Um, signed a really exciting few players like their two new wing backs, Cabore, just spent the season on loan at Marseille, and uh, Ryan Giles, I think. Is it that? Yeah. Really good crosser of the ball. I bet he, he's going to bag some assists in a Luton shirt. And 16th, they finished 16th last year. We got not Ingham Forest. Um, yeah, they haven't done a lot. I think they, they're just going to build from where they were last season. Decent finish back then. Not bad finish now. Could they get higher? I doubt it. Because, you know... They're gonna they're gonna get through with it. They're like Luton. Their their home stadium's gonna be rocking and jumping and buzzing. But fifteenth, we've got a very exciting team in Bournemouth coming up. Um, yeah, really exciting team actually. Uh, they've signed a great new left back, Kirkesh. Good player, 
um, little FM Wonder Kid there, another FM Wonder Kid, and Ilya Zabaini. I can see him getting some minutes this season. Um, I can see him starting alongside Senesi, and that can be a really good building point. And they've got a new. I feel. I feel. I think it's a shame that Gary O'Neill got sacked, but personally, I think if they if Bournemouth want to progress as a better club. Iriola is a good manager to do so. So I can see why they sacked him, although unfortunate. Dongo, Jungo, whatever, Butara, good player. Got quite a few good... Oh, Justin Clivert as well. I think, oh, they're cooking, mate. They're cooking. 15th for Bournemouth. And then we move on to 14th in Burnley. Now, they've made a few good additions. James Trafford... Um, yeah, good goalkeeper, didn't concede a goal in the under-21 Euro, so, you know, very good signing there, uh, Vincent Company, I think they played some great football in the championship, um, and I can see it translating to the Prem, although I don't think they're going to finish higher than 14th, I, I think it's a very good position to be established back in the Prem for Burnley. West Ham are going to be 13th. Now, this is presuming they reinvest that Declan Rice money later on in the transfer window. I'm going to make I'm making this video quite early, um, about a week before the first match day, as I want to give myself a bit of time to sort of prepare myself. Do you know what I mean for editing? Although I probably won't do any editing. Um, yeah, West Ham 13th. I think they're just going to build on. They, they did well to win the Conference League. They're going to be in the Europa League. That that might take a hit on their team. They could finish lower. But I don't see it. I think they're going to reinvest that Declan Rice money well in the future. And I think 13th, you'll be happy with that, right, West Ham fans? Um so 12th, we have Crystal Palace. They literally always finish 12th. They literally don't move. Um, <laughs> although we finished 12th last season. We don't talk about that. Um, yeah, 12th for Palace. Eze and Elise are just going to... They're just great footballers, aren't they? Elise is one of my favourite footballers in the Prem. Um, just such a, a great dribbler, great passer. He's got it all, really. I think he's going to go right to the top. I can see him getting a big move next summer. But, yeah, 12 for Paris. Um, really haven't signed that many people. Jefferson Lerma, yes. He's all right. Is he going to be an upgrade on Czech Decore? I don't know. But, you know, 12 for Paris. Good finish. And 11th, we have Fulham FC. Building on from that, uh, great campaign and they've still you know they say oh we've lost Mitrovic I reckon firstly they will get good money for him they might invest in a good striker but Vinicius I reckon he's okay he can get the job done the only thing is will they drop off will they start to drop off that aging squad will he add can he keep going will Andreas Pereira keep that form up one big important addition at the back Calvin Bassey signed from Ajax and Jao Pellini is just going to get better and better, isn't it? Brilliant CDM there. Um, so 11th for Fulham. Now moving on to 10th in Brentford. Now I think if Ivan Tony hadn't wasn't, you know, a flipping gambler, he wasn't a gambling man. I reckon this lot could push comfortably for European football, but. He was a naughty boy, betting offences, and that's why I think they'll only finish 10th. Decent little signing in Nathan Collins, Mark Flecken, probably going to replace the outgoing Raya, um, and uh, Kevin Sharder, pacey little forward right there. And I think they'll do well, and Bomo will carry them a bit, but you know, I think they're going to finish 10th. And ninth, we've got, I don't know, is this controversial? Maybe. We've got Brighton. 
Brighton, I think, will drop off. Selling McAllister, probably going to get rid of Caicedo for um, this beautiful club right here. Um, yeah, I think, you know, even though they've got this running stream of brilliant talents, you know, I still think ninth is a decent position. European football will be a distraction for them. Have they got the legs? Have they got the squad deck? They probably do, but to be honest, I think there's eight better teams than them. Or are there? Because eighth, there is a shit club coming in at eighth. It's Tottenham Hotspur. Um, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about giving them ninth, but you know, I've got a lot of Tottenham people in my life and I don't want to be that hated so I think putting a mate is fair it is come on Harry Kane brilliant striker I think they will keep hold of him and I think he's going to leave on a free next year unfortunately um, I've got a few good players and that new manager Ange Postogonglu yeah he I reckon I can I can see him doing well to an extent. I think 8th is not a bad finish, to be honest, for a team that, um, yeah, star Eric Dyer at centre-back. Uh, yeah. Uh, they haven't actually really improved that defence, although Destiny Adogi is back. I'm sure he'll be contributing to the goals. Um, yeah. James Madison, though, exciting little signing for you. I uh, hope he does well. Well, it's Tottenham, actually, so I don't. And, yeah, eight for Tottenham. And seventh, we have Aston Villa. And I reckon these boys can get higher than this, you know. I wouldn't be shocked. But, you know, I can't predict flipping Newcastle with their Saudi money to finish seventh, can I? Um, yeah, so I think, yeah. Uh, Villa, exciting signings again. Just, I swear, Premier League is just getting all these good players and no one else is getting them. It's quite funny, that. But Villa, yeah. Pau Torres, brilliant little centre-back. Um, they, it, him and Unai Emery, who did a fantastic job last year of getting them into Europe. Um, yeah, they know each other really well. Moussa Diaby looks like a fantastic signing. And I just think Ollie Watkins is going to kick on. They're going to get seventh. Oh, I need to take a breath. I've been talking for about 12 minutes straight. Um, yeah. Yeah, Villa seventh. They're just going to build on it. And they're going to... Yeah, seventh place. Would you take that, Villa fans? Uh, sixth, I'm going to have the tomb in sixth. So Newcastle. Um, yeah, good, good team. Yeah, very good team, actually. Signed Harvey Barnes. Who else you had? Sandra Tonali, have I forgotten him? Does he really want to be there? I think he does. He's just being a little cheeky shit. Um, yeah, sixth. I do think Champions League is going to take a toll on them. However, I think, you know, sixth. I, I know they've dropped a couple of places, but next year I think they'll be back in the big time. So watch it, watch it, you. And fifth, we've got my favourite club. Now, awful season last year. Really don't want to talk about. Really don't want to think about it. But we've made some brilliant signings. Christopher Nkunku, yes, he's injured. Nicholas Jackson looks fantastic. I think we've finally got a number nine that's going to get 20 league goals this season. I can see it happening. Uh, he, he's got the link up. He's got the finishing. He just looks bloody ridiculous, doesn't he, Nicholas Jackson? Um, yeah, I think we... I think I wouldn't be surprised if we finish top four, but it just looks a bit cocky, doesn't it, if I, finish, if I put them fourth or third or... First, please be first. Um, yeah. No, I, I think our squad's looking good. Really good. Pre-season looked good. I think we finally got an identity after the woeful last season. Um, it seems mental that two years ago we won the Champions League. 
and um, yeah, the next two seasons after that, we finished 12th, but what can I say, it's Premier League, isn't it? But yeah, fifth for us, I think that would be a good, good point for Poch to build on, kick on, let's challenge for the league next year. And fourth, we've got Liverpool. Now, I am a bit stuck on this one. Yes, Cody Gak, yes, your attack is good. Cody Gak, Poe, uh, Shobba, Shob, yeah, whatever. Uh, McAllister, Sobers lie, there we are. But have you really replaced Fabinho and Henderson? Your midfield's looking quite light. I can see you getting a better CDM, maybe, down the line. But that Van Dyke's just getting older. Is Trent really going to be great at right back? I don't know. He can be a bit defensively sus. But to be fair, he's got that attacking flair. So, I don't know. I think you'll finish fourth. I think that's a good position for you lot to be in. Now, third. Could you call this controversial? We have got Arsenal. Um, yeah, I just think Man U are going to be better than them. Are they going to be better than City, though? You've got to wait and find out after the ad break. No, I'm joking. I'm not a twat. Uh, yeah, so third, Arsenal, Declan Rice, brilliant signing. Kai Averts, I've got... Raised, I'm going to raise a few question marks around him. I don't think it'll be a good signing. Um, yeah, I just don't see it. You know, I don't really understand where he fits in. He can't go up front, can he? He might do, to be fair. Jesus has just been injured, but he was actually awful up front. Uh, I don't think he displaces Erdegaard. Martinelli and Saka are better than him. Could even, oh, I don't even know, does Smith Rowe better than him? I think Smith Rowe's been eating too many chocolates. Um, yeah, and um, who's at centre back? Saliba Gabriel. Have they signed? I swear to God. It's not good, my mind's gone blank. Have they signed another defensive player? Let me know in the comments. I have not done my, by the way, this is straight, one talk. One take. I have no notes with me. I just literally have where I predicted them. So if I do forget anything, I am truly sorry. But yeah, Arsenal third. I think they'll just kick on a little bit. Don't think they'll get second. Because that's where I put Man U. Um, yeah, Man U. I just think first year that was like getting to know the team. Second year, they're going to push City for the title. It's obvious. City are going to win the league for the next 10 years. But United, they're going to push City hard, I think. Um, yeah, I just think they've got a brilliant team. Rashford's going to kick on. Um, Rasmus Hoyland, is he going to sign? Probably. I think he'll be all right, to be fair. He'll get the chance to create it for him. Um, yeah, Lissandro Martinez, Andre Onana, good goalie, good with his feet. Can I forget Mason Mount? There he is, Macy Mount. Um, yeah, shame he left Chelsea, but pff, what can I say, really? Got, 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 got good money for him, for a man who got three goals. Um, so, yeah, I think he'll be decent. So, yep. And first, we have Man City, title winners for next year. They're going to get Gavardiol in. They've got Cobbett in. The only thing I doubt with them is, is Cobbett enough to replace Gundogan? I don't know. But Haaland is... Oh, I've frozen. I'm not editing that out. You can piss off. Um, Haaland is just going to hit 40 goals again, isn't he? Come on, let's be honest. He's such a good player. What a monster he is. He's going to tear up loot and wolves and whatever shit as you are. But yeah, Haaland up front. Grealish is going to kick on too. 
Mares though, big loss actually. He he is a good player. He's a big loss. So one to watch there. Could Man U or Arsenal even leapfrog them? Let's find out. But that is my Prem predictions. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, drop a like, drop a subscribe, and I will see you next year when I predict the Prem again. See you later. Bye-bye.